XB, so you've got an ATU 40 on 100 or, and you want to connect it to your picket 3 and you've took the lid off and if we look here it's all been soldered so where you would normally connect it and this is where it would be its pins have been bent over and soldered to so what's the easiest way to connect in my opinion so as you can see there's one there that's called M, is it MCLP uh, that has nothing on it at all that's part of where we connect so the first thing to do is let's connect a pin on that so we're just going to use these normal GPIO pins and we're going to, just going to get this loose one here and slip it on the missing pin. So even one handed, I'm pretty sure I can get it on there. There you are, it's on there, obviously we need to slide it on a bit further up. You can see that's on there and I'll just slide that on. Okay, that's on there. Now the next thing is here. If you look here, there was a load of glue and I pulled the glue off. I can see why it's on there because it, it does, these are, aren't very tight on. So we will put something back there to hold them in place. Put some sort of soft jelly or something. Um, so pull, what we're going to do is pull these off. Yeah. And they do come off quite easy. We've taken a photograph so we don't forget what order they were in. And then all we have to do then is add some pins to these. Right, so we've added those pins there. So those pins are connecting, oh, there goes Mazzy, to the, the board. You can see there where you connect the thing. Now, I'm gonna show you the type of pin I'm gonna use on the spare pin so that we, our picket, our picket programmer can now plug into there. And it will plug into there because I'll show you the connector. So that it looks, it looks like. So there's the pins that we need to connect. There's five there, and they can like, look at it. They could probably be male or female anyway. And so all we need to do is just add this last pin again. So a quick bit of soldering. We're just going to make a female to female at both ends. And then we'll have our little cable done, soldered, and then a bit of tape on there. There you go, ready to go. Okay, well we got our five pins ready here. And if we look down here, we're connected there. So we've obviously taken it off the OLED display. We can put them back on, we know the order. So when we connect the picket programmer, we just need to make sure that everything's corresponding. It's written on the actual board, what does what and what should be connected to what. Not clear to see here. Sort of, but the lighting's not great. Let's lift it up. But it's marked on the board. I'll just show you on a diagram. This is of a video made by IK3 SSG. So it's marked there, and we just need to make sure that the picket connectors are connected to the correct thing. So we can now do either firmware or alterations to the EEPROM on the ATU4. Or 100 um, QRP or 100 watt extension tuner. 73, all the best.